All right, so trying to get the old tree out. As you can see, I chopped up the old tree, I cut it down, and now I gotta get this one out. And apparently the root was bigger. This guy had a big root here and another one over here. So before I can get this sucker out, I'm gonna have to keep digging a little bit more. But yeah, so I gotta make it twice the size of that. So I'm already there, I just gotta get this thing out. Let's go. Apparently, not enough roots to make this guy grow. Yep. Turn it off. All right, so I've gotten the tree and the root out. So next step is I'm gonna go in this hole, come over here and look with me. I'm gonna fill it full of water. Just soak it. It's already kind of wet from all the rain we've had, but I'm gonna make sure it's good and moist down here and then i'm going to pour this potting soil that i have in here and some fertilizer i'm going to let that sit soak it again and then put the tree in and fill it with dirt there we go Showstopper fans, who's disappointed that the showstopper put a shirt on? So I've removed the tree from the plastic into the hole, and it needs to be about an inch above the ground. And we're gonna go ahead and leave this stick on here that helps support it. And now I'm gonna shove dirt around the hole, and we're gonna put more water in it. And then I'm gonna put mulch on top to complete the process. for the mulch. Make sure your tree stays straight. We have this stick here, but I'm not gonna leave that on forever. I'm gonna go ahead and put some stakes in and tie to the tree to the stakes. Let's go. I thought I had rope, I didn't. I actually only have one of these bungee cords, which I'm gonna use for now. And I'm gonna go get rope later and do this because I, I thought I even had two of these, which I don't. So what I'm gonna do is wrap this around the tree and this will hold the tree up and then I'm gonna go get some rope here later. So here we go. That is the tree. As you saw, I cut down a tree. Make sure you're safe. I had Sarah actually recording me, so if it fell on my head, I'd have video proof that it actually happened. No, make sure you have someone around, so if you cut it or make sure you're angling it right. I took great precaution. I almost told my neighbor behind me that I was gonna do it, but I didn't because I felt pretty confident in my ability to cut down a very small tree and chop it up into smaller pieces. Thanks to Sarah for filming me. Thanks to Brad for letting me borrow his chainsaw because I don't have one of those, and because I don't chop down too many trees when I only have three total. But that is my red maple. So what I plan to do is show you guys this tree maybe in a year or so, we'll do a follow-up vlog, maybe even a little growth vlog, who knows? But either way, I'll show it again. Let me know if you plant trees, I did anything wrong, which I'm probably sure I did. I did my very best. I want this guy to live and I pray he does. Guys, thanks for watching the Showstopper Shows. May the forks be with you, may his presence be always put a bow on this tree. This tree, it's a present and that's a wrap. Show stops here. Never quit y'all.